Testing, testing. Hey guys, it's Bri. Welcome back to my channel. I miss you guys. Aww. Today I have a really, 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 really helpful video. It's one that I could have used when I was in your shoes applying to a college. I needed to know what tips and tricks were actually gonna be useful in my personal statement. I kept getting the same advice over and over again. But today I prepared the ultimate list, ones that you guys haven't heard before, and ones that will get you into your dream school just like me. Without further ado, let's get into it. To help organize all my thoughts and ideas, I worked backwards. And I'm gonna tell you what that looks like now. First step, brainstorm. I spend a lot of time on this step and I think not enough people do. You wanna think about the values reflective of you and the ones that are your best foot forward. Brainstorming about those is really important because you want all of what you're talking about to relate back to something. So taking time to brainstorm about it is really vital. Second step is to tell a story. Obviously, when you start your first draft, you're gonna tell a story, but even when you brainstorm, it's super important. You wanna connect moments and experiences from your life that relate to the values that you wanna show. Think about where did those values come from? When did you know that you had them? How are you using them now? And how are they affecting other people? That storyline is what takes your writing out of an elementary, literal answer to something personal, critical, and analytical. And that's really what college readers want to hear. Step three, pick the most unique one. You're sitting with all your brainstorm ideas regarding what stories you could possibly tell. When you're choosing, most people advise to pick the one that resonates most with you. I don't think that's really helpful. Let's be real here. Colleges want to hear something that they haven't heard before. I'm sure our parents or X, Y, and Z resonate to all of us. But what story is going to, one, catch their eye, two, keep their interest, and three, help you explore yourself? Don't be scared, even if you don't know much about this topic or you feel uncomfortable talking about it or it's something that you personally haven't reflected on. Don't be scared of that. That will make it even more exciting. Step four, reflect. This step is one that I recognize a lot of people struggle with. I was lucky enough to have a therapist who was also a guidance counselor. He helps students with their college essays and he emphasizes this one so much. What I mean by reflect is to show your critical thinking skills about your own life. Connecting what you have to say to a larger purpose or something that you think about all the time shows that you are able to apply what you know and make lessons out of them. Reflecting is hard, especially if you don't have a question to kind of guide you. So you have to be that guidance for yourself. Some pro tips, food for thought, would be thinking about it from different perspectives. Every college application reader wants to hear what you have done to make yourself exceptional. Fifth step, start writing. At this point, you have a lot of brainstorming ideas and you know what you want to talk about. Now is to just include a beginning, middle, and end. When you dive yourself into your experience, you should put yourselves in your shoes, pretend that the reader is along right with you, and describe all the sensory feelings. You want to set the scene. Then you transition to the middle. What's actually happening? Kind of give foreshadowing as to the values that reflect you. And then three, in the end, you want to pull it all together. You want to connect the values to the experience and to the question if you have a question or to a greater impact purpose. A lot of people get repetitive, so just remember, you're telling a story. Okay, so that takes me into step number six, abstraction. What I mean is, take all that confusing, dense, interesting, captivating storytelling and bring it into something super simple, clear. Something that is relatable and something that directly answers the question. Don't literally say it, but make sure that you're conveying it. You finished your first draft and now I'm going to tell you step seven, multiple drafts. Hate to break it to you, but to develop your ideas more, to really dive in and try to think of things that you haven't already thought about or that you haven't already said, you need multiple drafts. Let's be honest, you're not gonna do it unless you're forced to. So starting on a completely new blanket piece of paper, you're put in a position where you have to think of something you haven't already done. 
being forced to do so will intrinsically help you. Step eight is outside source editing. Everybody always tells you you should go with somebody you trust, either personally or academically, but I think you should add a third person in there. Aside from the two people that you already have, make sure to include somebody that doesn't know you as well, that maybe you don't know as well, and why you want them to read your paper is to make sure that they understand. Most likely, you pick two people that already know a little bit background into your life. Having an outside source makes sure that the reader, who doesn't know you at all, will not only comprehend hen, but to give a fresh perspective as somebody that doesn't know you. Lastly, number nine, don't procrastinate, aka don't be like me. <laughs> I took three different vacations and I applied to nine different applications during those and it was a really rough process. I also just didn't get the chance to let my ideas really simmer down. I was so rushed as far as writing my drafts. When you really take the time to brainstorm and reflect, that's when the real you shines. And second of all, you're able to prioritize what actually matters to you. So don't be like me, don't procrastinate, start now, get those ideas flooding, and then execute, baby! Write the best essay with these best tips. Step 10, subscribe to me because I will be giving you more tips and tricks and they're actually really helpful. You save a lot of time because I went through all that process. I picked the best for you. Go follow my other socials, comment, like, you know, shits and bangs, anyways, love you all. Good luck!